Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me, I have a 2024 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport. So let's get diving in right now. All right, so here we are, guys, right outside the vehicle. As usual, let's walk up here to the window sticker. You guys are welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore on your own, okay? Now you guys can clearly see it's the 2024 Honda Civic Hatchback Sports, the trim level, and Boost Blue. Right over here, you can see the fuel economy is 29 for the city, 37 for the highway with a combined of 32. Down on the right-hand corner, it talks about the safety ratings. Check that out. Who doesn't love fives out of fives? Perfect. We'll come right down over here. You can see what the vehicle's made at the price point, and then the list of the standard features and functions, which we're gonna to try to cover today just for you guys. Now, Boost Blue is one of those colors. It's gonna have a surplus charge of $455. I'm also gonna throw some additional color options up there, then also if it's gonna have that surplus charge, so you can just be fully aware of that, okay? Now, as we step right towards front of the vehicle, it comes in with two key fobs and remote start. To use your remote start, all you have to do is hit lock, Hold this button down here for a few seconds. You can see the light's gonna flash. It received it. Then once it starts right up, there we go. The lights will flash again to give you confirmation. Hey, I've started. All right, your remote start runs in 10 minute intervals. So let's say 10 minutes have passed, it automatically turns off. But let's say eight minutes have passed and I repeat the process on the eight minute marker. Now it runs for the grand total of 18 minutes. A third time, you can't do it. No, no, you actually have to get into the vehicle, turn it on to actually use your remote start again, okay? So there you go, that's your remote start 101. We'll turn that right off by simply hold this button down. Now, all of your Honda sensing features come standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, road departure, and traffic jam. So a lot of cool goodies right in there for you guys. Also have rear seat reminder, so that's gonna be kind of snazzy. And then also you're gonna have your traffic sign recognition system. It finds the speed limit and throws it right up there for you guys on your driver's interface screen. So pretty cool. Now, we're gonna have a four cylinder right in here with the CVT transmission. I'm gonna throw horsepower and torque up there so you guys know it's a 2.0 four cylinder right there for you, okay? Now, as we kinda of check out the front here quick, you're gonna have daytime running lights. This is gonna be where your turning indicator is gonna be at. They're gonna be LED daytime running lights, LED tail lights, and headlights from that point, okay? So your wipers and all that good right underneath the hood line. You see the little side mirrors are down on the doors. We'll wrap around right over here. So you got those 18 inch black alloy rims. We'll take a step back so you can see the side profile of the vehicle here quick. And there we go. I'm gonna throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys be fully aware. How does it compare to you guys' current vehicle and the other ones out there in the market? Will it fit in the garage? That kind of stuff. Now, you guys can see, you're gonna have uh, body colored handles. It's gonna be blacked all around the windows, okay? Black side mirrors from that point. There it is. Now, as we step here towards front, uh, next to the side mirror, it's gonna be a breakaway side mirror. So if you need to fold these bad boys in, if you accidentally hit something, hey, that's not a problem, you're all good. Now, we're also gonna have smart entry with the vehicle too. So let's say the car's all locked up. There we go, you get the key fob in your purse, your pocket, your jacket, put your hand in the handle. There you go, it beeps and unlocks it there for you too. And you can keep this in your purse, your pocket, your jacket. Come right up here, put your thumb down on these ridges, and it locks everything from that point too. Or you can simply enable your walk away auto lock feature. All right, once that's enabled, you get the key fob with you, shut off the car, you get 10 feet away, boom, it locks all the doors from that point. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to second guess. I locked my doors, did I not? Huh, one less thing to worry about. Now, you cannot accidentally, whoops, drop your key fob in there, falls out of your pocket, come out, hit the lock button, unlock your keys in the car. All right, it locked, it's automatically just unlocked from that point. Then also, with the walkway auto lock feature, if I had that enabled, I kept my key in there, I walk away, get 10 feet, it still registers the keys in the car, so you can't lock your key in the car. So, cool. All right, we'll step right over here to the gas tank. When the car is unlocked, you simply just push in the door right there. It pops right open to a capless gas tank. No longer a cheap cap to worry about fixing and replacing. From that point, it's a simple slide and go, okay? We're going to step here towards the back. Once again, we have LED taillights. This makes a bold statement as you apply into the brake for safety, of course. You got a little badge of honor over here, Civic. You got Sport right there. So that's pretty much gonna be the hatch. Now, you're also gonna have a hatch key right here on the fob. Sorry, hatch button here on the fob. So let's say the car's all locked up and I hit this button, right? And it only unlocks the hatch. So the rest of my doors will remain locked. 
So that's pretty nice from that point if you just want to unlock there, okay? So you guys will see, you got a little privacy stuff right up here. You can take this in and out. Same with this, this is fully open. And there we go, close, and you can open that bad boy. Then there we go, pretty snazzy. Carpet mats come standard. You have courtesy tie downs. Just in case you got something back here, you wanna be jumping around, rattling around, you can take care of that from there. Curse seat latch or anchor. There we go. Get one there and one right there. You gotta have a light back here. Now down below, let's open this up. A spare tire for those unforeseen events. As life happens, there we go. You're gonna have the tools you need to get back on the road. Now, let's say we're all done here. This is the last spot I'm gonna be at, right? And I have all the doors shut. I can simply hit this button too as well. We'll lock all the doors for you. So let's close that there. Hit that button, the car beeps. Now all the doors are locked when I walk away. Just in case you don't have to walk away, auto lock teacher enabled, okay? We'll get the key fob out one more time. Hit unlock. We'll get right back here quick. Now before we dive in here, I'm gonna throw some interior measurements for you guys. So you guys know how much room is gonna be in there for your friends, pet, cargo, whoever is brave enough to tag along with you guys. They're gonna have room, okay? Door here quick, get the armrest. You guys know about power windows, so a little dishy, additional cubby space down below. So you got a little combination, a little bit of the leather cloth seats going on. Does not come standard with all these mats, but I have them in here so you can see how the laser cut to actually hit tight fin in there for you guys. Then there we go, there's the back. Now to bring these seats down, all you have to do is come right here. Ta-da, let's get on the other side. Get in there, bring it down. Let's pop this open. So you can see what you guys are working with. All right. There we go. So much more space than the sedans from there. All right, let's close all this back up and we'll talk about the front. All right, so let's open up the driver's side door here quick. Let's take a quick look at this. You guys know about power windows. You got your power locks, your mirror selector between left and right, the D patch you adjust accordingly. Then the window lock button, just in case any young whippersnappers in the back are playing with the windows, you can lock them out, okay? So there we go. Some additional cubby space down below. Our seat is right here, cloth interior. You can see that you got the pump action to raise it, pump action to lower it down, recline is gonna be there. Then you have a squeeze bar underneath to slide forward and back, okay? We got your pedals, you A to B from that point, and then your hood release, it wraps around right here. Pop that bad boy. Let's show you guys some of the common courtesy stuff right now. Here we are, right under the hood. We already talked about the horsepower, the torque, the engine. Let's show you those little details that may do on your own. For example, like the washer fluids, a nice blue cap, easy to find. We'll come right over here. You got your cooling cap right there for you. Oil cap, the dipstick, bright orange. You can find that anytime between day or night. We'll come right over here. You got your fuse box, battery connections, easily exposed. So you can access that pretty nice and easy. Then we're gonna have your brake fluid right up here, okay? Anything else beyond that, I'm gonna call someone to come rescue me, but let's do one more look over here for those that have the capabilities on playing around what's under the hood, okay? There it is, guys. For those more advanced questions, contact your local Honda Service Center. I'm sure they'd be glad to assist you. Let's get up front now. All right, so here we are, right in the Civic now. Simply have the key fob with you in your purse, your pocket, your jacket. Simply put your foot down on the brake. You'll see the button light up. Hit the start button and watch everything light up from there, okay? So we're going to come over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel here quick. We've got some buttons down below. you got your vehicle stability assist or your traction control. If you want to turn that off, it's a click and hold. It's not a tap a -roo. they got this button right here. As you select this button, you'll see right up on the driver's interface, this will pop right up, okay? That's going to go corresponding with this little icon right here so if everything's disabled it's all grayed out but if everything's enabled it'll be all green okay now what are these items let's select everything on now you got your forward collision and then you also have your road departure so we'll keep everything enabled for the next person to take this out on a test drive you got your brightness right here of your driver's interface screen Blast that bad boy. And there we go. Now that's everything over there. Now your steering wheel release is gonna be right there on the left hand side. Pops down, it goes in and out. 
up and down, so go to just as you guys see fit and lock that bad boy right back in place, okay? All right, let's talk about the steering wheel here quick. So there we are, nice leather wrapped. All of your Honda Sensing features are gonna be over here on the right-hand side for you guys. So we, as we kind of get over here and focus, you got your cruise control. It's gonna be this button right there for your cruise and adaptive cruise. So as we take a look here on the uh, driver's interface, you see a matching icon. So it's available, you can use it, okay? So you got two icons. So you got that for adaptive cruise. Then you get this for standard cruise, okay? Now, how to switch that between the two is going to be this button right here. As you click and hold it for a split second, and there we go. It doesn't take that long. Now, to enable your cruise control, all you have to do is get this little toggle switch. Toggle down, it sets it, and you can adjust the speeds by toggling up and down, okay? Now, what this button also does, it has a little hidden feature too as well, is as you tap that bad boy, you see those lines up there changing? This is going to be for your adaptive cruise control. So with your adaptive cruise control, you can set the distance between you and the car in front of you. So more lines means further away, less lines means closer, you're gonna to be to that car in front of you. So it keeps you at sync with that car up front. So for example, let's say you're going, let's say you're going 45 miles an hour, the car in front of you is going 40, the car would beep at you when a car gets in and out range you can turn that on or off okay and also slows you down to maintain that distance whatever you have set at so you're at sync with that car once that car get out of the way you just resume back to whatever your cruise control is set at all right so that's pretty awesome if you don't like that feature once again just click and hold this button down now it's standard cruise control will not keep you at sync with the car in front of you okay this is going to be for your lane keep assist and traffic jam assist. Your traffic jam assist is for your city driving, okay, between 25 to 40 miles an hour. It keeps you in the center of your lane, so if you go out of your lane, it brings you back. You would not be playing ping pong, going back and forth. It keeps you in the center of your lane, okay? Then the same thing with lane keep assist. Between 45 and 90 miles an hour, it keeps you in the center of your lane for your highway driving, okay? So you can see it's enabled because we have a match icon right there. It's available. Hit that button again, it's no longer available. So we'll turn that bad boy back on as you're driving down the road. It finds lines on the road. It'll be green lines right up there on the driver's interface. It'll alert you and say, hey, I am actively working, okay? So there we go. Now with that, you also have the option to turn on or off when time you go out of your lane. If you want to go beep, beep, beep at you as it brings you back to as well. I'll have videos about that down below in the description show you guys how to customize all of your vehicle settings so you guys set for success when you drive off the lot, okay? Now we have paddle shifters right up there. Now right over here, you got more of your media controls stuff too as well, like for your volume, for your music, your different sources, switching between radio stations, voice command, you'd be like, hey, call crazy Honda Chris on mobile phone if I'm saving your phone, stuff like that uh, from there. Now we're also gonna have some options here in a second on the driver's interface. That's gonna be using these little buttons here, the little wheel action, you go up and down and then pushing the wheel to select, but we're gonna get to that in a second. Before we do that, I wanna talk about what's on the wiper stick. So you got your wipers right down here is simple pull up to miss as you go down you can see how it kind of adjusts from that point then you got your rear wipers right over here is a twist okay your auto lights from that point it's gonna be right there so if i'm in park and i want to shut off all my lights boom there we go so pretty snazzy or i can keep it on auto from here so when i get vehicle in motion they'll come on as needed now let's talk about over here on the left hand side of the driver's interface okay So we're gonna be using this little wheel. Once again, it's gonna be right down here. So scroll up and down and push into select, okay? So we're gonna start right here at safety support. As I select this, this step should look a little familiar. So you have another way to get in here for your road departure and your forward collision, mitigation, if you wanna deactivate those items. I'm gonna hit the home button right next to it. Go back down, settings. This is where you guys are gonna customize all of your vehicle settings. Once again, I'm gonna have a video out there for you guys, for you guys are all, all set for success. Customize display. So if you choose to remove a couple of these items, as you guys can see, some of you can't, these ones you can, to clean up your clutter a little bit, you're more than welcome to. Now content, there we go. If you want to change your miles per an hour to kilometers, you can. It's a simple click and hold this little wheel action right in, and we'll allow you guys to change it from there. If you just let it at default, it automatically just makes everything disappear from that point. Warnings, like if I had a door open, seatbelt not plugged in, stuff like that, all kinds of warnings. You guys know what those are for. Fuel and range. So right now, with a full tank of gas, you guys can see we can go 403 miles 
uh, before we go to empty. This is all computer generated, okay? So right now, this is based on eight miles on the car. It has not fully learned from my driving habits or the train or the condition I'm driving in. You know, summer versus winter. You always get better fuel economy in summer. It's just how it works out, okay? Now, that will fluctuate as time goes on. It will learn from you. Now you guys can see right down here below, you have a little graph between zero to 90. Okay, that's gonna show you a lifetime fuel economy you're getting at that moment. So that graph will go up and down and fluctuate from that point. Then I use a little wheel to scroll up and down. As you can see, you got your trip A's and trip B's. To reset that, all you have to do is push in that little wheel action and then hit reset. So now there you go, trip B's been reset from that point. So there we go. Speed and time, let's get out there and have a little bit of fun driver's attention the car is going to know the difference between you doing a bad job at driving and the wind blowing you around the car is going to probably going to warn you when you need to pull over and take a break because you know you're falling asleep or you're just not paying attention on what's going from that point okay so it gives a little graph when it gets to a red coffee saying hey definitely pull over seat belts you can see who's sitting where and wearing a seat belt or not guilty right now we're not moving but if i grab the passenger one here and get it ready to go. Three, two, one, boom, pretty responsive. And then unbuckle, and there we go, okay? So I can keep eye on the kids, see what they're doing. Maintenance, anything regarding for maintenance is gonna be right here for you guys. All right, now we're gonna kind of shift your focus on the layout of the driver's interface so you guys know exactly where everything's at, okay? So you get your digital speeder meter right up here, you got your other speed right here for you. You got traffic sign recognition. Once it finds the speed limit sign, it throws it right up there for you, as you can see. You can see we talked about your safety features from that point when they're enabled. You're gonna have an econ button right up there, so telling us in what econ I mean. And then normal and sport. You got a couple options up here. We're gonna get to that in a second, a little more later on, okay? Now you can see it's 60 degrees outside with eight miles on the car. We're in park right now, and then the gas tank's right here, okay? It's not this little red thing, it's gonna be the bars. Is Hershey bars down on the bottom, okay? So if it's a half tank, guess what? Half of these bars are gonna be gone. That's gonna be your gauge right there. You can see a time right here, it's 10.04. And then you got these little lights here off to the side and boom, there we go. You notice you're not gonna have a temperature gauge, okay? For the engine, it's gonna be a light that comes on to clean up the clutter on here. So if it's cold, if it's hot, you get a light that will come on for you guys. Let's do a little horn honk honking. Roll down the window so you can, can hear this. And there it is. Now, from there, let's come over here to the test screen as we roll up this window. So this is going to be a 7-inch touch screen. I'm going to try to get close so it's not flickering when I'm just kind of far away. All right, this is on and off for your radio. You have your tuner right here. Or you can simply push that right in. Then you can scroll from that point if you wanted to with what you have saved. You can save up to 12 stations. As you can see right up here, this allows you to navigate from that point. Now, as you want to switch between your radios, you have a radio button right there. So you select that. You have FM radio and AM radio. Okay. You can pair up your phone. So you get incoming calls, stuff like that. Media controls, you have a USB. You don't have a CD player, but you can download your books, the other stuff, CDs onto your flash drive. It's a plug and play. This is where you're gonna select from that point. And then you also have Bluetooth capabilities. Now also, as we back up to the CD talk, I know I had a couple people reach out to me, Chris, the car doesn't have a CD player. I have a lot of CDs. Hey, like check out online. They have USB plug-in CD players from that point and they actually shared with me that they actually work pretty well too as well so a nice little small investment if you want to keep it to cd time okay now we're gonna have apple carplay and android auto it's a simple plug and play from that point if you have an android phone like myself you have to download android auto allow their permissions then plug your phone charger into your phone then plug it in down to the usb uh, from that point and it takes like your apple maps google maps displays it up here while charging your device and other compatible apps while playing through the vehicle okay so pretty cool stuff so you don't have to go to the highest trim level to get navigation you know with this one that automatically updates stuff like that you don't have to worry about paying for those updates from apple carplay and android auto so a little menu action, let's we select this bad boy. This is just a little quick little scroll so you guys can see some of these options right up here. 
then we're just gonna hit the back button. You can see right now it's 10.07 now. That's the time. And so that's pretty much the touchscreen right here for you. Now we're gonna take a quick look back here. You guys see the whole dashboard, the little design that's going on, okay? Let's do a vent check. So I got mine right here. It clicks when it gets in the center. I can close this bad boy. I can open this bad boy right there. We'll come right over here. You got yours right there. We'll open that up, let you guys cool off. Whoever's over there. And then this is just kind of the direction. It's centered, it's up, it's down, to the right, left, you know, so on. So we're gonna argue about these two. I like to blast cold air all the time. Now, right here, you're gonna have your hazard lights, a little floating bun if you ever need that. Hazard lights, there we go. Now we're gonna come right down here to your climate controls. This is gonna be your temperature. You'll see it display right up there too as well. It says 60 as I'm playing around at that point. It does nice little clicking. Your fan speed, you'll see it right there. You also see it right up there for you and then your different modes you'll see it right here and then right up there so that's gonna be nice so as i'm driving down the road i don't have to look all the way down i can just pop as i go you know so there we go you have an auto bun the car is going to do everything in its power to maintain at 62 degrees from that point you can turn that off by simply turning off the car from that point there we go you got your circulation front defroster rear defroster with AC will come right down here. You have a 12 volt plug in, USB plug in, then a little tree action down below. Cup holder, texturized right here. This plastic, you can see different shifts, gears. You have park, reverse, neutral, and drive. So if you put it in reverse, guess what comes up? If you guys guessed your backup camera, you guys are good. Now we have a three mode backup camera, okay? So this little button down here the, on the touch screen, I'm gonna show you how the camera is gonna act. So this is a nice 180 view more of a right behind you view then a straight down shot from your rear bumper view now, as you crank this wheel guess what happens it changes colors to let you know what direction you're going and let you know your tires are not aligned and then there we go now we're going straight straight forward and straight back now we put this back into park now we're back down here to your different drive modes to toggle switch you toggle up and down we'll get right up here on the driver's interface screen so if we toggle up to sport mode, it's going to change up your gear ratio for a little more shorter gear ratio, a little more fun acceleration and throttle response. You'll see that you get a little red action going on up here to let you know you're in sport with a visual with obviously telling you and you're in sport. Normal driving, this is my everyday sitting, uh, city driving. Then we're going to have an econ mode. Econ is going to make you more fuel efficient, most effective for your highway driving, okay? So this is really designed when you're out there on the highway, you're cruising uh, from there. Now, as you may get anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on how you're driving, okay? But now keep in mind, on those really hot summer days, you want to be fuel efficient or do you want to be comfortable? Because it affects the power of the AC. I don't know if you guys can hear that as I turn that on and off. You may have to get in there and experience a little bit on your own, but it nerves the power of your AC and your acceleration, okay? You can keep this on all the time. It just is not as effective for your city driving, okay? It's really designed for your highway driving. There we go. We'll turn that right back off. Idle stop. Yes, it comes standard. I know everyone has mixed feelings about it, but if you're like my wife or it bugs you, you have this little button right here to disable that, okay? Now, for those that don't know what idle stop is, it's more of a fuel emission awareness. So every time you get to a complete stop, you know, like a drive through stop sign, traffic, you know, waiting to pick up the kids, you guys get the point. When the car meets a requirement, like the cabin's to temp, the engine's to temp, and other stuff to help protect itself. So when you push hard down on the brakes, when you do a stop and it meets a requirement, it shuts off the vehicle for you. Okay, then once you let go off the brake, it boom starts up before you hit on the gas. Okay, so some people hate it. For me, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't bother me too much. But my, my wife, she hates it, so she, she hits that button. All right, let's go over here. We got an electrical parking brake. So you guys can pull this bad boy up. You can see it's engaged because of the red little light right there. Then also says brake right here. Now to disable that or turn that off, you can't just push the button in. You can see right there, you have to put your foot down on the brake, then push that right in. Then your electrical parking brake is off. Your brake hold, this is going to be a great feature when your seatbelt is on. And you have it enabled. So when you're driving with stop and go traffic, when you get to your quick stop, it holds the brake pedal down for you until you release that by stepping on the gas pedal. I have a video for that, guys. Check that out for brake hold from that point. It shows you guys that in action. Armrest, 
Pop that right open. Got a little tray action. If I want to hide my quarters a little more as the sun comes up and take a sneak peek. Perfect. I can hide my snacks in here and anything else I need to from the kiddos. I can see them trying to snack in my car, but we're going to stop them. All right. Here we are. Glove box. Open right up. Deep enough. Challenge accepted. Throw whatever you want in there. You guys are going to most likely forget about what's in the glove box. I can't even recall what's in my glove box right now. Then we got your mirror. Okay, then we got your lights, little LED lights right here. And there we go. Well, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at this. There you go. So, yeah, that does adjust for those who are curious about it. So does mine. Little lights. There we go. Lights on, lights off. Now I put it in the center for the door. So now if the door opens up, the light will come on. And then there we go. So there it is, folks. That's going to be the walk around here for the 2024 Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.